Let's go back to you know the um, uh, animations for a while as well. Uh, so you said that you know you started with animated and uh, you didn't uh, really see a lot of benefits uh, going React uh, uh, native. Re I mean reanimated uh, path, yeah. which makes sense to me. Uh, so do you see any like uh, you know? opportunities uh, from the upcoming re-architecture of React Native uh, from, let's say, performance standpoint or anything that, you know, makes you excited and you are like, this is what I'll be using in paper as soon as it's stable. Uh, is there anything like that? Um, so I'm really excited about this new re-architecture about Turbo modules and Fabric. Uh, I think it will open a lot of new possibilities, uh, especially the Turbo modules. I, I think they will not only improve the performance uh, yeah. of our applications, but they will also allow us to build better, you know, component APIs. Uh, and I think we can already notice that uh, the new version of React Native Reanimated, the version two, uh, which is not yet stable, uh, but it's in release candidate version. Uh, it's written uh, with turbo modules uh, under the hood and. Uh, if we compare it to, to the previous version, to the version one, uh, the API is improved a lot. Like it's 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 much more simpler and uh, it's it's imperative. And I think uh, more developers will start using this library because because of this change. So yeah, yeah I agree that the the, the uh, turbo modules and fabric will uh, open up a lot of new possibilities. Nice. So, you know, since uh, 064 RC1 has been just released, I mean, I don't know when we will publish this podcast, so this might be a few days ago or months ago, but um, that's probably something that uh, you might uh, want to try with paper at some point. Um, and in case it breaks, I'm here to help <laughs> with any of the issues.